now we need to create the white cover here in the middle so we go to create and we pick another cylinder and I will make sure to use the auto grid feature because I want it to be sticking to the this part right here and I will deactivate uh, angle snap toggle and I will activate snap toggle to grid I go here from the middle I will drag it oops I right click okay it's here and I will deactivate the snap toggle I go to cylinder I will make sure to get the same radius of the last one which was 60 the height I will make it 8 height segment I will set it to 3 cap segment 1 okay now we need to go to uh, left view press L to go to left view and here this is the part we need to drag forward like this and actually I need to put it down inside it now I get back to back view and actually I rotate it uh, after I finish the last video I rotate this part so I can use the front view and I see this right here so now what we need to do we need to make it slightly smaller than the last one so I will make it 59 and sides I will set the same number of sides which will be 20 or maybe I, I don't need to use the top smooth with this one so I use something higher like 30 maybe 36 okay 36 is fine and again I'll change this color and here I will remove this assigned random color it's okay fine I need to get some rim here in the outside and I need to get rid of this piece right here but before I do this I need to raise the number of cap segments so I can get rid or extrude it so I will make it five cap segments maybe six or seven I need this to be as thin as I can okay uh, let me try something here let me set it to 5 and then right click convert to editable poly now I go to edge mode I double click this one and I will make it large like this that's it that's what I need okay so I get back to polygon mode and I will zoom to select this group and um, unfortunately I have to select it one by one and then I will use the grow feature okay so I will press grow three times and then I will extrude this inner with a negative value I will make it uh, I remember the height was 8 so let me make it minus 7 and press ok so as you can see here you won't see it but we can change to perspective view so you can see it so now that's what we get now I need to create a wider rim so let me select this group right here uh, maybe I need to move this edge a bit so I go to edge mode edge mode double click and I need to push it okay I get back to polygon mode and my selection is still the same so now I need to extrude it 
I press extrude and I will make it with a positive value I will move, remove this minus and I will make it something like 5 and press ok oops we need to do it again and make sure it's local normal not group so we pick local normal not group and press ok so that's what we get that's that is the piece I need to see here in the middle maybe I can set some uh, material for it let me check material editor here and I can create a copy a lighter copy of this material here let me zoom out so I can shift drag it and then I will change its color I go to ambient or diffuse I change it to something light and press ok now let me select the editable poly as a whole and I get back to material and I will tell him to assign material to selection so, so that's it for this part I created this part in the middle now I will select both both pieces these two pieces and I will use shift drag uh, oops I will press cancel I don't need to create another one of this so just these two shift drag to get another copy of it it's a copy I will press ok and I will make it hidden I will use hide selected in the next tutorial we will connect this piece to this piece of logo right here so keep up with us